All right, we're over here at Your Rod and Reel. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's the sign for it. It's our local bait shop. I picked up some fiddlers and some live sand fleas. We're gonna see which one works best tomorrow. We're gonna have a little bait competition using the same stuff. We're just gonna put them together, see what we catch. There's the Critter Fleet Dock. That's the Critter Fleet Dock. I grew up there. We, there's a head boat there. They just retired it in the Ponce Inlet area. It's kind of a staple. It's been here forever. So it's gone now. So it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy to think. It's always been here since I was growing up. The Critter Fleet took about a hundred people out of a day. Bottom fishing, caught lots of fish. Lots of good people running them boats. Learned a lot there, had a lot of good years on there shame to see it go but everything changes over time oh. so we're at the inlet i got me and my boy mark we're getting ready to bust up some sheep's head we got fiddlers and we got sand fleas both live got them yesterday at the bait shop as you've seen and we're gonna drop them down see which one's do better see if one gets hit faster and uh just go from there no competition because i don't want to whoop mark but <laughs> all right let's all right. go all right so what i'm using 15 pound main line 20 pound test fluorocarbon bottom sweeper jig live sand flea that's what we're dropping down first drop did you let it go slack on the bottom or don't, don't worry about what i'm doing over here no, I let it, I keep it tight on the bottom. It's a little slow for me right here. Yeah, Might need to jog in a little bit. We're still in 30 foot of water, dude. Oh, there he is. First one of the day right there. Oh, he's a good one too. Uh -huh. <laughs> A little sheep's head. Nice. On the bottom sweeper. I don't know if he's gonna make it, but we're gonna measure him. Cause you know what, we're keeping fish today. So limit to 12 inches, are correct? He ain't gonna make it. All right, back in the water he goes. That's a one for sand fleas right there. Zero for fiddlers. There he is. That's a pretty decent size peeling one. Oh, he's not. These sheep's head have a lot of, they have a lot of fight in them, man. What a little guy. Oh, he might make it though. He might make the cut. Let's give him a check. Oh, boom. Legal in the box. Let's go. All right. Man, I just lost my bottom sweeper, but thank goodness. I have more. Uh oh. Oh, my boy Mark's got one on. Hey, what do we got on here? On the board, on the board. Is he illegal? He might yeah. he might make it. We're gonna measure him. Don't know till you go. 
All right, so we know the sand fleas are working. I'm gonna try a fiddler now and see, see what we got here. I'm gonna rig them up just like that on the bottom sweeper. Here we go, going down, going down. Downtown. I just got snagged up a second ago, so I'm a little weary. All right, on bottom. See what happens here. We'll see if we can get a good hit here. Oh, 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 oh. Missed him. He had it in his mouth. It's a quick bite, quick bite. Come on right now. Oh, mother-in-law. Oh. Look at that. That's only a face a mother could love right there. And they do not want to get your hand caught in there. Look at that bad boy. Oyster toad fish. Going back down. So as soon as you feel a little, even anything, don't let them take it, Mark. You know what I'm talking? Just set the hook, yeah, let it rip, tear chip. There he is. That's how quick it was. Oh, there he is. That's what I'm looking for. Where's that spot tail porgy? He's a beefy one too. You want him? We're already keeping fish. We are keeping fish. Spot tail, ring tail porgy. He's a pretty hoss one too. We're gonna put him in there. All right, got something on here. Another little sheeps. This is some smallies. It's a bunch of punes today. He's supposed to be the wintertime sheep. Supposed to be some good, good big sheep's head, but they're not, they're small. This one might need a net. Uh -oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I might be able to flip him. He's looked pretty deep. Oh yeah, he's a good one. You got the net. Oh, oh yeah. That's what we're looking for. Thanks, bro. Oh. Get him out of here. Got that bottom sweeper deep in there. Oh, look at that. That's why we don't lift them over. Oh, and he spit the bottom sweeper. All right, let me... I don't know if y'all see that. About a 16 and a half. That's a good one. Nice. So I've caught most of my fish on the sand fleas. I'm going to try to just stick with fillers and see how we do here let's see how we do we'll drop down the bite's pretty good right now my well, hookup ratio isn't the best but i mean it's there i'm getting some not the best though another little sheet for mark yeah he's the hooker ain't he? we're catching them but they're small got one decent size one so far but we're just plugging away. Easy fishing. What do you know? Another little one. Yeah. All right. We're gonna let him go. Yeah, let's go. My there we go. Cute little guy. Back in the water. Nice one now. Oh. Yeah, he's a good one. That'll keep. Nice. Oh, yeah, buddy. Dude, that little move. A couple feet forward. Was that on a sand flea? Yes, it was on a sand flea. Actually, 
I'm not sure to be honest with you. Nice one, nice one. Let's see what we got here. Do a little measurement for y'all. About a 15 incher, 14 and a half, 15, we'll take it. I'm not like a that kind of guy. It's a little rock blenny. Pretty cool little fish. As soon as it hits the bottom, it tears it. It loves them crabs too. Let me go ahead and try, try to get them unhooked and get them back in the water. That was on a fiddler, by the way. So what I'm using now, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's called a salt donkey jig. This guy puts a lot of work in his paint and detail. More natural colors, earthy colors. We're going to give it a shot. I've used them last year and they were awesome. So I'm going to try them again now. Never hurts to try new stuff when you're on a bite because you might be able to get something good, something different. Or maybe uh, the fish like it better. Always experiment. Let's do it. Let's go. Get him on the net. Get him on the net. Mark got him a keeper finally. It was on a sample right. or? A... That was on a, no, a double fiddler crab. Double fiddler crab. All right. Here, get, get a measurement on him. Let's see what we got there. My boy Mark just tore him up one. Starting to get a little. Oh, hold on. Hold on here. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, I just missed a fish, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 14 inches. Yeah. 14 with the tail pinch. That's right. Well, Mark, I think we did pretty good today. Yeah. Sheep's head are just now starting off here. It's November. We're, uh,. Starting to get into them pretty good. I got a couple nice ones, got a couple smaller ones, but uh, it's gonna pick up from here all the way till March. Well, so as far as sand fleas versus fiddler crabs, I think today the sand fleas were the best. I think they got more fish, they held on the hook, but we had some small fiddlers too. We were putting two fillers on at once, and you know they're small when you're doing that. But I think the sand fleas were getting the better bites. Maybe it's just the time of year. Maybe the early season. They like the, fiddle, uh, the sand fleas better. I don't know. What do you think? You think you did better on the sand fleas? 100%. Yeah. Sand fleas are easier to throw on the hook, too. More yeah. More time in the water, more yeah. time catching fish. So live sand fleas versus live fiddler crabs. I think the sand fleas won today. It's not all the time. I'm not an expert. I'm not saying they're better by any means. I do like myself some fiddler crabs. Uh, we were also using salt donkey jigs as well as the uh, bottom sweeper jigs. They both worked pretty good. Um, so one's just a different color. I noticed one thing on the bottom sweeper jigs is the yellows don't do as good. The bright yellows, chartreuse, pink and orange work really well. And then the earthy colors with the uh, salt donkey really work as well. All right, well, that's all I got for you on this video. First trip out sheep head of the year. And uh, there's going to be more to come. And when we get into them, we'll be uh, videoing them out for you guys. All right. Well, that's all I got for you. Jacked up out.